here with the Sparrow's Nest and welcome to my channel Sinful Living with DIY Projects and Delicious Dishes. Alright guys, so today I decided that I'm going to be doing kind of like this thrift store finds. I'm going to show you guys my thrift store finds. I want to do something where I'm uploading videos in between doing my DIY videos. Those DIY videos take a lot of time, there's a lot of editing, um, and a lot goes into that. So I wanted to give you something that I could do in between doing those DIY videos. So yeah, I'm going to kind of share with you thrift store finds, um, and then eventually I'm going to turn all these into projects, so if you just stay tuned, you will see everything I show um, and how I use it. So I've been trying to go to thrift stores more often so I can do more home decor um, for cheaper around my house. So I know those Dollar Tree DIYs are really huge and I really tried to get into that but every time I went to the Dollar Tree I just could not justify the cheap materials things were made out of. And I know I'm going to get a lot of people like freaking out because I know those are really trendy and I totally respect the people who can make DIYs out of the Dollar Tree stuff. For me personally, um, I'm not creative enough to figure out how to make those Dollar Tree DIYs. And also in the end, even though those look nice, in the end they are still like cheap material that you are using. So for me, it is not budget friendly because in the end, I don't really want it in my house. It's kind of very flimsy and a lot of work gets put into it. For me personally, I would just rather find higher quality things at the thrift store to use as my foundation. And hopefully no one disowns me for saying that stuff about the Dollar Tree stuff. Um, it's just a personal thing. So anyways. So anyways, that's a little background on what I'm trying to do and I'm going to call this Thrift Store Tuesday today because Tuesday. Alright, so I'm going to show you my thrift store finds so you can kind of have an idea of like what you can look for at the thrift store um, and what you can turn it into. Alright, so this I found at Salvation Army today. I was honestly shocked to find this. Like, I literally felt like I stole this and ran away. You guys, if any of you are DIYers, you know mason jars are a huge thing. They're so much fun. You can do so much with them. You can use them for everything. You can paint on them. You can drink out of them. You can store stuff in them, um, whatever it is. So I found this 12 pack of ball mason jars the big ones the big ones and they're really nice half off okay these ended up being six dollars and fifty cents for a 12 pack of these that's literally insane i've never ever ever seen them for so cheap these are normally just for the individual ones at thrift stores like 2.99 so this was a crazy crazy find that i found today i still can't believe it i'm still like shocked at this right now Another thing I found that I was so super stoked about is this Pier 1 vase, guys. Freaking Pier Imports. Pier 1 Imports. This stuff is so expensive. And this was $5.99. And I love it because right now it's fall. It's turquoise. It kind of has a pumpkin shape. So I am probably going to take this off of it. I'm probably going to put like maybe some jute cord around it. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to put inside, but I'm going to put something inside, maybe some flowers. Right now, I just kind of stuck these in here. <laughs> these I just got from, I do get some stuff from the Dollar Tree. These I got from the Dollar Tree, they come in a three pack for a dollar. So that's just kind of holding this place for now. Yeah, so $5.99, Pier 1 Imports. That is nuts. All right, so here's another thing I found. $2.99, I found this at one of the local thrift stores. Um, it's a pumpkin and I'm going to paint this. I'm probably gonna make this pumpkin like white and put some like teal on it. It's gonna end up looking really pretty. And this is what I was talking about, about like um, why I would rather just save up a little bit more money um, for better quality is a lot of people are doing the DIY pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and they're these like cardboard pumpkin cutouts. 
that you can paint. I actually went to the Dollar Tree to check them out because I saw someone doing a DIY on it and the material was just so cheap that I couldn't justify it. And that was for a dollar, just like the cutout and they painted it. But in the end, it's just a piece of cardboard and it's flimsy. I'd rather have better quality stuff to paint on. This is only $2.99, so what, it's like $2 more and it's solid wood and it's a pumpkin. And so I'm gonna be able to paint this. It's gonna look really nice. I can keep it forever. It's not gonna feel like it's something that I just wanna throw it away. So that's kind of what I'm talking about. Like I would rather go to the thrift store and spend a little time, maybe go once a week and find better quality stuff. So another thing I found, which, you know, this is just another piece of wood that I found at the thrift store. So instead of painting on like a flimsy piece of cardboard, I found a nice piece of solid wood and this is only $1.50. It already has this on it so I can hang it up. I can place it on something. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint over it and put like one of those fancy lettering uh, quotes on it like thankful or um, hope or something like that. All right, so here's another find that I found at Goodwill today. And this is really cool. Okay, this is going to end up being a chalkboard. This one's gonna be really, really easy to do because this is already kind of chalkboard material. So all I'm gonna have to do is paint a layer of chalk paint over this and I've got a great chalkboard. Now I used to make my chalkboards like with thrift store picture frames, but after having some of the glass panes break on me, I decided maybe that's not such a good way to go anymore. So I would rather paint on some sort of piece of wood to make that a chalkboard. Next, I found this really nice orange basket at Goodwill. It's a pretty good size. I like the tone of orange. This is gonna be really great for my fall decor. And this basket was only $5.99 at Goodwill, so it's a pretty good price for a pretty big basket and it looks brand new. So I'm thinking of maybe putting some like white pumpkins in there and doing some stuff with it. So I'm excited to do that. Next is another thing that I feel like I stole. Okay, I got these, these little like, you know, you can put them on the wall. They got the things that you hang. And I'm gonna be able to put these on the wall. It came in a set of three. So they're like three different sizes. They're little three square shelves and $2.99, $2.99 for all of these together combined. They're a little scuffed up, but it's gonna be super easy to just paint over them with some chalk paint and these will look good as new. All right, I have two more things to show you. I found this really nice jar. It's a pretty big size jar. It says harvest time. So I think this is gonna be really fun to chalk paint and then I'm gonna sand this so this harvest time will still show. And I'll be able to like put some stuff in there to make it look all fancy. And this was only $1.99 at Goodwill. All right, so my last find is I found this. I thought this was a really cute piece of decor. I mean, it's still fall right now, so I will use this probably for Valentine's Day, but this is actually from Hobby Lobby, and this is only $4.99. So this is super cute. I will probably like repaint it and make it like a color that I really like. All right guys, those are my finds for today. I actually found all of these in one day on just a couple trips. I went to Goodwill, Salvation Army, and a little local thrift store. So I found the key to finding good stuff is really finding the good thrift stores in your area. So I found like a really huge Goodwill and like one of the biggest Salvation Armies around here. And those are the two that I've been going to and every single time I've been finding really good stuff. So I'm definitely making this a thing where I'm going to start regularly going once a week and sharing with you my thrift store finds. All right guys, well I hope this gives you some ideas on what you can look for at the thrift store and the great stuff that you can find at your thrift stores. Make sure you keep an eye out for my videos on how I'm gonna transform all this great stuff I found. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell right next to it so you never miss a video. See you next time.